So good morning guys. Today we are going to derive one more derivation in your dynamic consideration that is consistent mass matrix for truss element. Now how to derive a consistent mass matrix for truss element already we have discussed a brief how to derive a consistent mass matrix for bar element. Truss element is also known as a 2D bar element. Now to derive first construct your truss element having two nodes one and two. Now we know that in local axis I had considered local axis x dash global axis is x and y. If you take global axis, the deformation or the displacements at each node will be 2, that is q1 and q2, at node 2, q3 and q4. If you take local axis, the displacement will be only 1 at each node, that is q1 dash and q2 dash. Now, how to determine your mass matrix? Already we know that what is mass matrix expression? Mass matrix will be equal to, okay, volume integral rho n transpose n into dv. This is our equation number 1. Now, this is a simple one dimensional bar element. You know how to convert your volume into your the, this one uh, line that is dv will be replaced by a into dx. Now, if you write it, me is equal to line integral rho into n transpose n into a into dx. Now, this once again dx is there, but I want to take your what is it element will vary from zeta equals to minus 1 to zeta equals to plus 1. Now, if you want to vary this zeta equals minus 1 to plus 1. Now replace this by dx by d zeta. How to replace it? We know the relation between zeta and x that is 2 into x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1. If you differentiate this, that is d zeta will be equal to 2 by le because we know that x2 minus x1 is the length of the element into dx. That is dx equals to le by 2 into d zeta. That means now if you substitute back in your equation, okay, this equation if you substitute it, the, I think you can make it this as equation 1, no problem. You can take this equation rho is common okay a is common dx equals to le by 2 i'll keep it rho a le by 2 outside minus 1 to plus 1 limits will be changed into n transpose n into d zeta n transpose n to d zeta now what is n and what is n transpose okay now if you take it first n what is n see this is looks like a bar element that means because of that n will be i can take it as n will be equal to two shape function n will be equal to two shape function that is n1 and n2 n1 and n2 but how to write this n1 and n2? See, if you observe this, if you observe this, what is n1 and n2? Now, we know that what is the equation? u is equal to n1 q1 plus n2 q2. But if you take here, I have two displacements. One is horizontal displacement, one is vertical displacement. Because of that, I will take it u will be equal to u and v, small u and v, small u and v. What is small u and v? Because I have horizontal displacement as well as vertical displacement. What is horizontal displacement? Two nodes are there. Because of two nodes, how many shape functions are you going to get? Only two shape functions, that is n1 and n2. Now what is that? N1 into N1 into horizontal displacement Q1 plus N2 into horizontal displacement at node 2 that is Q3. This is one expression. And one more equation is N1 into Q2 plus N2 into Q4. Now are you getting it here? What is the displacement here? N1, Q1 in global axis Q1. What is the displacement horizontally here? Q3. That is U is equal to N1 into Q1 plus N2 into Q3. Like what we did in your bar element N1 Q1 plus N2 Q2 because both are horizontal. Now here horizontal different, vertical are different. This is the expression what it will be. Now this can be a little bit modified. That is u is equal to u into v. Okay, u v I will write it here. Now this I will write in the form of a matrix. If you write in the form of a matrix, what happens? n1, 0, n2, 0, 0, n1, 0, n2. Why return? If I write it in the form of a matrix, it will be like this. q1, q2, q3, q4. Similar to your bar element. Say why? Because what is u? u is equal to n1 q1 n2 q3. How you get it? u is equal to first row into first column. n1 into q1, 0 into q2, n2 into q3, 0 into q4. Now you got this equation. Similarly, what is v? 0 into q1 because q1 is not required. n1 into q2, I want 0 into q3, not required. 4, n2 into q4. Now it will be like this. Now what is this? Now this will be called u is equal to n into q for this one. That means, what is n for your uh, truss element? See, n for truss element is, just observe here. What is your n for truss element? See, n for truss element is n will be equal to from previous n1 0 n2 0 0 n1 0 n2. Now, what is n transpose? n transpose is right in the form of a column n1 0 n2 0 0 n1 0 and 2. Now you got what is n transpose, you got what is n. 
But what is N1 N2? See N1 N2, what is N1 N2? Because your truss element will be looks like what? It is a bar element. Truss is like a bar element. N1 will be same as that of your bar element. 1 minus zeta by 2. N2 is equals to 1 plus zeta by 2. Why? Because it is an, a 2D bar element. Or it is like a, it is like a, it is like bar element, bar element in local axis, local axis. Because of this, N1 and N2 will be same. Now, if you take your previous expression, Me is equal to rho A Le by 2 is common. Okay. Minus 1 to plus 1. Now, what is N transpose? Now, write your N transpose. N1, 0, 0, N1, N2, 0, 0, N2. Okay. Then this side, what is N? Write it here. N1, 0, N2, 0, 0, N1, 0, N2, into D zeta. Now, if you observe here, this is what is order, say number of rows, number of rows is how many, 4 rows, okay, 4 rows, correct, then how many columns, 2 columns, what is this, 2 rows and 4 columns, then order of the matrix should be 4 cross 4, now, now similar to your this one, row A, Le by 2, now, minus 1 to plus 1, first simplify this, 4 cross 4, into D zeta, now how to multiply it, first row into first column, first row into first column, go with first row into first column, n1 into n1, n1 square, okay, next, first row into first column, n1 into 0, n1 into, this is 0 into, yeah, multiply this, multiply this, what is the value you are going to get it, just check it now, what are the values you are going to get it, 0, next n1 into, okay, then you are going to get 0, then here, uh, 0, n1 into, then here, 0 first row into first column first row n1 into n1 n1 square n1 into 0 0 next step 0 into n1 say first row into first column over second row into second column first row into second column first row into second column see n1 into n1 square n1 into 0 0 next n1 into 0 0 0 into n1 is 0 next n1 into n2 n1 into okay next into 0 okay say so next fourth row n1 into 0, 0, n1 into, so n1 into 0, 0, 0 into, into 0, okay, now second row into, second, first, second row into uh, this one, second column, second row into the 0 into n1, 0, n1 into 0, 0, next 0 into n1, 0, n1 into n1, n1 square, this is n1 square, okay, next, uh, 0 into 0, 0 into n2, 0, n1 into 0, 0, next, uh, 0 into 0, 0, next n1 into n1, this is n1 into, over, next come to third one, n1 into n2, n1 into n2, next, uh, uh, this one n1 into n2 into 0 0 n2 into n1 n2 sorry n2 into 0 0 0 into 1 0 okay next n2 into 0 n2 into square then this is 0 next so here you can replace 0 okay 0 into n1 is 0 n2 into 0 0 0 into 0 this is this is n1 n2 okay then 0 this is n2 square now you got it like this okay now n1 square 0 n1 n2 0 n1 square 0 n1 n2 0 see already in the previous derivation we had done it what is minus 1 to plus 1 n1 one square into d zeta we already calculated you know what is 1 minus zeta minus 1 to plus 1 1 minus zeta by 2 whole square into d zeta already you have done it in the previous derivation you obtained a value called 2 by 3 just check it if you want you can just go with the previous derivation we have determined what is this one now similarly similarly now similarly how many values are there i have n1 square then i have minus 1 to plus 1 n2 square into d zeta now if you what is n2 square 1 plus zeta whole square zeta by 2 whole square into d zeta that is minus 1 to plus 1 already we have done it in the previous one second we got same 2 by 3 now i have one more value minus 1 to plus 1 n1 n2 into d zeta what is n1 into into minus 1 to plus 1 what is 1 1 into 1 by zeta divided by 2 1 plus zeta by 2 into d zeta if you simplify this you are going to get 1 by 4 outside minus 1 to plus 1 1 minus zeta square into d zeta. Now this also we have calculated in the previous expression. The got answer is 1 by 3. That means we know the what is the answers previous derivation we have seen, seen same thing because same differentiation uh, integration we have done it 1 plus zeta whole by 2 whole square 1 minus zeta by 2 whole square this answer okay this value 1 minus zeta square okay because of this now you write it what is your mass matrix rho a le by 2 now already integration we have done it here we know that what is the matrix we have obtained and integration of if you just observe n1 square n1 square is what 2 by 3 0 1 by 3 0 0 2 by 3 0 1 by 3 
is it correct just observe here what is that n1 square just if you observe here n1 square 0 n1 into 0 n1 square 0 n1 into then n1 into is there what is n1 into 1 by 3 0 2 by 3 0 okay then what is next one 0 1 by 3 0 2 by 3 just observe this now what is 1 by 3 is common in all the matrices now i can write row me is equal to row a le by 2 row a le by 2 I can write row a le by 2 that is I will make it row a le by 6 because 1 by 3 is common 6 into now 2 0 1 0 0 2 0 1 okay then 1 0 2 0 okay then 0 1 0 2 now this is called your consistent mass matrix like what we did in your bar again 2 1 1 2 now here it is a little bit change 2 0 1 0 0 2 0 1 one zero two zero zero one zero two. Now this is called consistent mass matrix for consistent mass matrix for truss. Consistent mass matrix for truss truss element. See, only thing you should remember in this derivation is so how to calculate your n values. This and this. If you know this, then it is almost similar to your previous one. See how to write that equation. That equation I had explained earlier also. Here I had explained clearly. Why I want to take like, like that, okay? Because we know that what horizontal displacement or vertical displacement, you have to separate it. Because what is u? u is a function of u, v, w. But what we have? We have w is only z direction is 0. u and v have displacement. That we should write in the power of an equation. Okay? That we should write in the power of an equation. Then finally, if you solve it, you are going to get an equation like this. This is called consistent mass matrix for truss element.